Dear professors, scholars, researchers, and uh, colleagues, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, I would like to show my gratitude to Food and uh, Agriculture Organization of the UN and the Royal Forestry Department of the Government of Thailand. Thanks very much for providing this opportunity of sharing our result, our research. Uh, I'm Chi Zhang. I obtained my doctorate degree in Technical University of Munich in Germany. And now I worked in Guangdong Academy of Forestry, China. Today, I'm going to make a presentation uh, about our knowledge and the experiments in uh, urban forestry remediation which is entitled with research and practice on the ecological remediation after Typhoon Haito 2017 in Zhuhai and Macau, China. My presentation will contain three parts, the background, our research and evaluation, and how we apply our knowledge to practice and exploration. For the background, I will going to talk about uh, the importance and the urgency of our remediation project. It is widely known that urban trees and forests can provide multiple ecosystem services, such as purifying air, reducing noise, and fixing carbon. For residents and uh, tourists, it can also provide a leisure space for people to stay and play, and it can also improve landscape for people to enjoy. However, urban forests are confronting multiple disturbances such as floods, fires, urbanization and human activities, and the pets and the diseases. And today I'm going to focus on those urban forests located in coastal cities. They will be frequently confronted with typhoon events. In coastal cities in China, such as Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Zhuhai, Macau, they often suffer from typhoon disturbance every year. Yes, from um, last 50 years, it is recorded over 500 typhoon events come here. Uh, for example, 2017, Typhoon Haito, 2018, Typhoon Manghut, and uh, 2018 Typhoon Avenia. Typhoon is often very devastating and it can cause strong breeze, intense rainfall and storm surges. Sometimes the maximum wind power can reach 230 kilos per square meters and sometimes it can cause intense rainfall which reach 100 to 300 millimeter. So, after the typhoon comes and the leaves, the urban forest is disturbed to various extent. We, we launch urban forest remediation, which can help to recover local ecosystem and provide multiple benefits. And it can enhance cities in coping with climate events to, to increase its uh, stability and adaptability. On one hand, our urban forest remediation can be ecological, can be historical, can be geographical and uh, authentic, which carry, reflect, and uh, uh, enhance people's uh, impression on cities. On one hand, it can also be emotional, inspiring, recreational, and healthy, which is very closely related to people's daily life. So, our research and the evaluation will take those perspectives in uh, which will deeply talk about the tree growth and uh, edific properties in improvement in our remediation project. In 2017, Typhoon Haito introduced Zhuhai and over 40% of the urban forests in Zhuhai were severely disturbed. After it happened, the local government and the forestry department launched the imperative urban forest re remediation and 
We select one of the ecological remediation districts as our research area to evaluate the quality and the efficiency, whether it's good, whether or it's not. So we take a deep insight. These are the photos that uh, observed or recorded at that time. Uh, in Zhuhai, in our research area, four uh, tree species are widely used uh, uh, for, for the remediation project. Uh, Staculia lanceolata, Alex from Tuda, Shima Superba, and Ilya Kapos severe stress. After, after all of them are planted, we launched above ground and below ground measurement. For the above ground measurement, the crown parameters, including crown size, crown length, uh, crown height, and uh, tree height, tree dBH, are observed and recorded every month. And for the below ground measurement, the ground penetrating radar technology and the root coloring method were combined to detect the root develop development in both horizontal and the vertical level. Because the root development is closely related to how the tree maintains its stability, how the tree absorbs water and the nutrients, and how the tree uh, adapts to the local environment. So the horizontal development will tell us whether the, the root system is steam centered or widespread, and the vertical development will show us uh, whether the trees are deep rooted so that it can be more reliable against the typhoon disturbance. After coring, we get the samples. So all the fine roots were moved to laboratory immediately. And we use a filter uh, to filter fine roots and washed the, uh, the attached uh, fine stones and uh, small soils. And after that, the oven We'll dry, dry them, and after it, they are dried, it, they, all the samples were weighed immediately to provide the information of fine root biomass development in horizontal and the vertical levels. After, the, uh, after all we did our measurement, the results show us different patterns of uh, different tree species. For example, the, the tree species SL show common tree high space and uh, significant ground diameter growth. So it will be very dense and uh, not so high. It could be relatively stable above ground morphology. And for SS, it shows lowest value of ground diameter and the second lowest value of tree height. Okay, the tree is uh, small and thin. And for ES, it showed a vigorous ground above ground uh, development because we observe advantages in both ground diameter and tree height. For below ground, when we see the vertical de root development, we can see from six to months to 12 months, all four tree species exhibited stable growth. But from 12 months to 18 months, only SL showed growth. The other three tree species show the declination. But we still see some difference that IR and SS show deep root development. Although they, they, they reduce their fine root, fine root growth from their shallow and middle layer, we still see it, it can be their specific advantages. And for ES, Although it's, it is very vigorous in above ground growth, we see 40 percentage of biomass reduction. So uh, different trees have different above ground and the below ground strategies. For example, yes, we just see that it, uh, it had a very good above ground growth, but it showed very, not very relatively weakened growth for below ground fine root biomass. And for the horizontal level, all the trees exhibited similar growth patterns. And when facing root, root loss, ES still see some difference that it preferred to lose outmost roots in comparison to other three tree species, that it, it mainly 
lost out roots, which is far from the stem. So we can say uh, for different tree species will show different adaptation and uh, some will focus on above ground and some will focus on below ground and for below ground the root development, some is okay, will maintain their uh, deep roots, but some are lost uh, not only in deep roots, but also outermost roots. So these tree, tree species should be considered to plant in different areas, which is based on the local environment. We also measure the soil properties and the chemical properties uh, since the remediation project started. After 18 months, we see the physical properties showed no significant difference. That means uh, it may not, it, although it is improved, it is still not uh, highly improved. But for chemical properties, we see a lot increased uh, indexes, for example, available nitrogen, available potassium, and so organic, organic matter. It may, uh, combined with our results per, uh, related to fine root, we can say the, 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 our remediation project uh, seems to be very efficient because uh, this pioneer tree species has already played a very good role in improve, uh, improve the soil conditions, especially in chemical properties, uh, which can be say the environment is the environmental quality have been improved for, uh, for, for later, for in the future, for other tree species to re-establish for uh, urban forest. Okay, so after we get some basic findings and uh, knowledge, we try our best to apply them to our practice and exploration, mainly regarding to how to improve the local ecosystem services from urban trees and uh, how to improve people's feelings on landscape improvement. We select another city, Macau, which also suffered from Typhoon Hato 2017. From this picture, we can see that uh, uh, the urban forests are severely damaged. Sometimes some, some trees are breaked, some, some trees, uh, uh, their crowns are, are, are destroyed. Uh, after our field survey, we, we feel uh, not only the urban trees are damaged or destroyed, we also observe these phenomena that the decline of tree growth, the deterioration of soil quality, and uh, due to the high strong wind, some forest structure are severely damaged. So it shows simple forest structure and uh, therefore monotonous, monotonous landscape effect can also be seen a lot of places. Based on this uh, special, special phenomenon, we not only to aim to recover forest cover rate, but also aim to uh, but also take diversity of tree species recovery, improvement of soil quality, uh, improve diversification of forest structure and the promotion of landscape effect into consideration, uh, which can help us to comprehensively improve the quality of the local forest remediation project. From 2018 to 2019, we launched a field survey, make plans and the designs and have a wide discussion with local people, with different uh, professors, was with residents, with uh, uh, the government. And uh, finally, we make a, a relative very good and consider different people's professor this decision and their implement the project. So we, uh, in the project, we, not, we consider that uh, we use more tree species to Im improve the diversity and uh, select those trees with a higher values of DBH, but uh, lower values of height. And uh, the tree uh, structure of their crowns could be loose so that the wind can, strong wind can easily go through and the stable root development will ensure the trees can absorb enough water, nutrients and uh, maintain the stability. And finally, we also take the landscape and the colors of trees and the trees 
that the colors of the flowers and the fruits of trees in different seasons will give people uh, a very nice uh, enjoy that uh, Ina, in different seasons. Can I ask you to uh, conclude within one minute, please? Uh, yeah, no problem. So it people uh, so people will have a very nice impression of the the, the affected area, and from those from those area which directly face strong wind, uh, we use landscape trees uh, trees which call the basic green plantations. That trees will be very stable and provide a green uh, green uh, view, so that uh, people can see. Okay, oh, it helps us to protect the softer areas, uh, and for those not directly facing the strong wind. We use landscape plantations at different trees, species with the different flowers can, uh, can give people a recreation space. And finally, not only the first cover rate, the diversity, the ecosystem service are improved, but also people see very good landscape improvement and enlarged recreation space. That's all, thank you very much.